What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Royal King Brian, a.k.a. Brian, and we are back with another video. So in this video today, we got a crazy, crazy subject, crazy, crazy conversation that I just want to get to you guys and tell you guys and inform you guys on. What is the difference between being poor and being broke? Because there is a huge, huge, huge difference between being poor and being broke. But before we get to that, all you have to do is turn your phone sideways, click that red subscribe button, Click that thumbs up because it helps our channel grow and we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. So now back to the title of the video. Poor and broke. One of these is worse than the other. And guess which one it is? Being poor, right? Being poor means that you're passing over opportunities repetitively. You're passing over opportunities repetitively. Meaning someone can come to you right now with a game plan. Hey, I have this business idea that's gonna make us some money. And the first thing you're gonna do is say, how is that How is that gonna work? I, I, don't, I don't think I could run a business. I have no experience running a business. I, have, I don't know what I'm doing. You're gonna come up with every excuse in the book to why you can't become successful. That is having a poor mindset. You're gonna say you're too old. There was a time you probably said you were too young, right? So no matter what it is that's presented to you, you're gonna find the negative in it and you're just not gonna take advantage of the opportunity. So you're passing over opportunities repetitively. That poor mindset is what keeps people broke. Now, only because you're broke does not mean that you're poor. That does not mean that because you could just be born into a poor, into a poor situation and now you're broke, right? You could just have some bad luck, some bad, some bad luck, right? And you could just be broke. But only because you're broke does not mean that you're going to be poor your entire life. So I'm going to give you some examples of some African-American people who were broke. And they're not poor no more. And that's all because of the way they think. That's all because their mindset. And it's all because they had a rich mindset. They never had a poor mindset. They always said, I'm broke right now, but that's not going to determine my future. I'm going to find a way to become successful. They didn't come up with excuses. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, LeBron James. Kanye West, Jay-Z, Beyonce, all these people were not, did not have any of the wealth that they have now. They all came from poverty and they all said, okay, I'm, I'm broke right now. I don't have the money right now, but I'm going to strategize, come up with a game plan. I'm going to get really, really good at something and I'm going to monetize it and I'm going to get out there and I'm going to put myself out there. And if some people don't like it, then cool. Some people don't like it, but you know what? I'm going to strive to be the best and I'm going to do it. And guess what happens? they did it so so that's african-american people spanish people you have people like romeo osuna jennifer lopez alex rodriguez like half of the baseball players right so many people that come from poverty that become successful because the way that they think how many times people don't make fun of people from the bronx like oh you're from the bronx jennifer lopez is from the bronx romeo santos is from the bronx i believe alex rodriguez might have been from the bronx too they didn't, that didn't let them define them. Where they currently are, only because they come from broke families, maybe poor mindset families, only because they come from broke families does not mean that they were going to end up poor. They went out there, they tried hard, they hustled hard. They didn't come up with excuses. They said, if I don't know how to do that, I'm going to find a way how to do that. And they did it. I'm going to give myself as an example. I was broke. I probably wouldn't say that I'm broke anymore, right? And that all took like just a few matter of years. But why is that? Why is it that I wouldn't consider myself broke anymore? Well, I have a little bit of money now. It's not like I'm not rich, definitely not rich, but I'm definitely not broke. And why is that? What happened? What was the switch? I've never had a poor mindset ever, ever, ever never had a poor mindset. I always said I'm going to become successful somehow. Even if I did not know how that was, I never gave up. I always kept pushing. I kept trying to find new strategies, new ways to do things, innovating, recreating myself rebranding myself, repurposing myself, and finding a way to get up every single day and try to become a little better every single day at what it is that I was trying to pursue, right? So that should be the same thing that you should be trying to do. Don't come up with excuses to why you can't win. I'm too old, I'm too skinny, I'm too short, I'm too fat. I'm out of shape, I'm not, I'm not that type of person to do that. I wasn't the type of person to do anything until I learned how to do it, right? Only because you're like, oh, I'm camera shy. Doesn't mean that you have to be camera shy your whole life. You can get in front of a camera and practice and you get better at it. It's just like the gym. It's just like eating healthy. It's just like anything that you do, running, riding a bicycle. 
the more you do something, the more comfortable you feel. The more comfortable you feel, the better you get at it. So stop making excuses, people. Stop having a poor mindset. Stop passing over opportunities repetitively and start taking advantage of the opportunities that are right in front of your eyes, right in front of your screen. Right now, you're watching this from the front of a computer, a smartphone, an iPad, a tablet, something like that. That is all you need right now to start making money in 2020. So wait, I'm gonna pause again. That is all you need right now, the stuff that you're watching this on, to make money in 2020. How many people said, oh, I can't do my job from home. I need office supplies, I need pencils, I need... And now a lot of people are working from home. They never could have imagined that, right? So anything is possible. You are capable of doing anything that you put your mind to. So why are you why aren't you putting your mind to it? Why aren't you giving it your all? It is because of yourself. You're the only person that could fix your situation, keep your situation the same, or just make your situation worse. It's up to you. Do not blame other people for your shortcomings. Look for other people to help you up. And you will find people that will help you up if you have a positive mindset. If you have a positive mindset. I hear so many people complaining about, oh, I don't know anyone to help me. You probably do know people that are willing to help you. They just been hearing you talk so negative all the time that they just don't choose to help you, right? You talk so negative about, oh, I can't do this. I'm too old to do this. I don't want to do this. This is so time consuming. I don't understand it. And they're like, why would I help this person? Because they're going to bring that negativity to me. If you speak around those same people as in, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find a way. And they see you working towards it. Guess what? One day you could get a phone call, a DM, a text message. Hey, I see you've been working really, really hard. I actually want to invest into your business. I want to buy one of your products. I want to buy one of your services. I want to help you grow your own business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit shorter. I just wanted to get that point across because there are so many people that want to do YouTube, that want to start a business, that want to create a blog. There's so many people that want to start their own services, their own products. There are so many people that want to work from home, but they are scared to do it in fear of failure. Guess what? Even if you don't start it, you're not going to get it. So might as well start it. Even if it doesn't work, then you didn't get it anyway. You're in the same exact position. You only could go up from there. If you want to do something, you take a chance. Guess what? You only can go up from there. You're going to learn something new. You're going to experience something new. And guess what? It's really, really fun learning how to do something that you've never thought that you can do before. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please, again, turn your phone sideways. Click that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you did something that you were scared to do in the year 2020, because this has been a scary, scary year, if you've done something that you thought that you would have not been able to do and you're doing it, leave it down in the comment section. I want to congratulate you. I want to say that I am super thankful to people like you because people like you that are taking advantage of their situation, not giving up, and are pursuing their dreams are reasons why people like me get inspired to do the same thing. So just want to say thank you to all the people that are following their dreams. And if you're scared, stop being scared. It's your boy, Royal King Brian. Take control of your life. Peace.